Mistake on the Lake by the lovely Mentor Ohio. DDRA three singles. <laughs> I'm El Queasy out of Columbus representing Six One Four crew, and we have. I'm Teej USB or Teej for short. Uh, literally just got in like 10 minutes ago. Just walked in. Came commentary. Just walked in. <laughs> uh, looks, I'm looking at the list here, and it seems like uh, this is the last pool for 12 to 14. Um, we got Kind Lady, Mr. Guy, Lubina, and Tootie Caps in this pool. Um, they're currently warming up, and the match will probably get started right after that. Zaf doesn't need to warm up. They've been playing all day. Yeah, Zaf <laughs> just came out of the, the women's and MB yeah. tournament, right? I think we just wrapped that up not too long ago, so probably still pretty warm from that. Yeah. I wasn't really able to catch it. Do you know how they oh, did? Oh, it was crazy. It's crazy. Crazy matches. I was partially able to catch it. I've been working the registration desk the last three hours, so I've watched some streams, but certainly not all of them. But awesome Women's at NB tournament. Super exciting. The commentary was great. Love the community. Shout out all the Valkyries. Of course. Yeah, great time. Uh, it looks like the match is starting to get started. Um, Let's go. We do have the song picked here, but the first one is going to be Fly Away. Um, this was actually recently a qualifier for Bite 6. Uh, I know Mr. Guy attended Bite, uh, so definitely a song that he would be familiar with. So I'm assuming it is his pick. What a fun 13. Very good. Shout yeah. out Sean the Horny Master. <laughs> he got two songs in video. Alright, and the match has started. Um, this song's a pretty good one. It's pretty on sync, so it's gonna be an MA battle. I know Zaf or Kylie really have been working on her MA. Working on their MA. I think this is a pretty straightforward 13 as well. Not, not too tricky. Yeah. Uh, even right off the bat, uh, Zaf does have the lead. Close. Zach is up by about 16, I want to say. Uh, both of them are holding their PFC. So, so like, any misses, you know that Gabby can get close, but Gabby can get smaller and smaller. Zach uh, picked up the grape. Picked up the grape, but it's still just the grape. Oh, and so did Mr. Guy. The good thing about this song is that like it's not particularly tricky. Uh, the rhythms are pretty straightforward, so as long as you can stay locked into that window, you're gonna be able to hopefully hold on to the lead that you need, that you might get throughout the song, and that seems to hold the truth behind later. Wow. Both both players close it out with you know the great full combo, but behind later tickets twenty perfect. Yes. 30 EX difference. That's actually pretty significant. Wow. But they both flagged it. I mean, that's... I'm pretty sure the being warmed up from uh, the... Oh, yeah, that's gotta help. It's, tournament it's certainly help. not hurting yeah. you, you know? Yeah. At the same time, you know, you should be tired with playing a whole tournament already, right? I yeah. Mean, that goes both ways. Ooh, they're playing the 15. Clank Jackal. So one thing that's interesting about the format is that even though they're in the 12 to 14 pool, because they're in the last pool for 12 to 14, they can replace one of the 14s for 15. Uh, There's a little extra like spice on it. This one is pretty good. It's got some jumps in there. Uh, another song is pretty on stage. So as long as you know whoever has the lead can keep it together, you can probably hold on to that lead as well. Up 
But again, Tai Lady you know, has the lead here. But it's, it's really close. There's, you know, the song hasn't really picked up yet, so it's literally anyone's game. This does seem to be, at least compared to the, you know, the EX score differential, this does seem to be a you know, Mr. Fifty guy does have a plus to giant. I mean, great <laughs> right handle. Yeah. You know, I say it how it is. About 10 EX between the two right now. Yeah. Okay. Sounds pretty good with the jump sort of and kind of pick up as the song goes out. Bone Terror's comboing that run, having no issues there. Speaking up a little bit at the end here. Yep. I guess uh, you know, the 16 starts coming in, so you know, again, as long as they can hold up with the lead. The lead is st still pretty narrow. Yeah. Much tighter than it was on the fly away. Ooh, Ooh. Bone Terror's nailing that crossover wow. at the end. But again, Kind Lady takes it 2-0. Nice work. Super great showing for both. Definitely. Yeah. Much tighter wow. this time around, but wow. Kind Lady almost getting that PFC. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah. A 15, dude. And that great was also like super early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the song even picked up. Oh. No. Do they have any 15 PFCs? I'm not They're sure. They're about to. Exactly. I'm not sure. If they but don't. They do now, tell right? That, like, <laughs> right? They have the caliber to like easily wow. close many of them now. Like that's crazy. Even compared to like many of the other 15, there's definitely yeah. easier ones that yeah. people can obviously go yeah. for. So like. So yeah, it, there's it, more straightforward 15s yeah. out there. There's a ton of funky rhythms in Black Jackal. If they don't have one now, it's like it's right around the oh top. Oh my gosh. Of the block. It's, it's right there. Whew. Yeah. Ooh. Looks like we got Lubina and uh, I knew it had like 2D 2D caps. That's what it is. Yeah. I knew it's got the numbers, got the letters. Uh, All right, let's go. I believe this is warm up. It's a very interesting pick for a warm up. Um, I mean, it'll warm you up. It's got. <laughs> It's got really aggressive crossovers at the end. If anyone's familiar with Killing Division, it's basically that, but slower. Uh, it's, uh, it came out pretty recently, which is part of uh, the 20th anniversary of But, you know, even though it's pretty technical, it's a really fun chart. It's a little bit of overstepping, which is funny for her. Long train running, which Classic. is very old. <laughs> Iconic. To say the least. Yeah. Um, interesting. Two of these have decided to play the 15 to 1 love while the other right. one wants to play the 12. I was thinking about that. I, I'm not sure if TDK Nash has just had any matches yet, but like. Today, so I'm just wondering if we're taking different approaches just because it's, they both had different play times today so far. I think people also have like their own like styles. Oh, for warming, warming up, up, especially, yeah. Some people really just like getting in there, making sure their legs are moving, trying to hit as many notes as they can. To just like, yeah. you know, I think that works for people. So I think you wouldn't want to both really slow, you know, yeah. really long than I do with those. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, just choose to throw. And even in a tournament, you might want to use that strategy up a little bit. Normally, yeah, for I would sure. be like, oh, yeah, we're going to start with like 11 and 12, so go real slow, you can do it. But in a tournament, you don't necessarily have like, a time either, so you kind of do have to throw yourself in. A lot of it probably depends on, like, you know, if they know what difficulty they're playing for the song. Like, you know, if you know you're playing 12 to 14, you probably don't want to be playing a 17 right. or 18. Exactly. Right? Um, yeah. But you got to find like a middle ground that will work for you. Even then, picking up 12 grades on the chart like that, again, I don't even know no, if either one of them has even played. It's pretty, it's a pretty good start. Wow. This is only Friday. This is only <laughs> Friday. Oh, man. We got a whole Saturday of this. Yeah. Oh, Sunday of this. 
whole Saturday, a whole Sunday. We're just getting our toes wet tonight. That's it. We're getting the feet in the pool. Ooh. This is a spicy You know, they are type A, the only one that actually is double BPM, where BPM actually does not lie to you. It is, in fact, 380. I don't know whose pick is what. I think me I'm unsure, but I think this is Ubanon's pick if I am well. Yeah, I mean, Probably, but if it's not Luminous Pig, you know, they do have a pretty solid score on it. Ooh, two recaps deciding to do sudden plus for this. Interesting how many players are playing reverse. That's actually very true, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Sudden is a pretty viable strat on this. The song starts pretty slow. It has a pretty, you know, sizable gap before it speeds up, so enough time to get rid of it. Juvenaut um, is up, so. But again, you know, the song has sped up, uh, you know, it hasn't dropped and not hit. Well, oh, straightforward so far. Yeah. It's gonna come down to, you know, how well do people know the charge? Do they know the stick they're launching that time either, though? It's only seven EX difference. That's, that's that's anyone's game. That's like you know a couple of great perfect games. This turn is not easy. Ooh, but two D cats picking up that good. So making that gap a little bit wider. Oh, but the gap is very oh. small. Oh, he just kept struggling a little bit to get rid of it, but it's picking up a bit and dropping that hole. Oh, yeah! So, moving on. Oh, super wow. steady. No issues. Oh, he just kept dropping that hole. Dropping the hole is a little bit tough because it gets, you don't get the... You kind of get double whammy. You don't get the thing with the the hole, you don't get the DX hitting the ball. That was about a time You know, all things considered, wow. it's still ridiculously yeah. close. It's kind of a romantic bit. You know, yeah. only 15 DX difference. Like, you know, coming out of that first slowdown, there are only a 9 dimension. That's so rough. Yeah, even though 2D caps, is. like, you know, dropped all the stuff. Keeping it that close was really good. Yeah. And you can look at, you can even look at like, you know, the perfect count difference. Like, even though Luminous wow. can only really use the song, you know, getting a full combo. Yeah. Like, the timing is totally so different. Yeah. So, you know, even though that most likely Luminous pick, uh, we're probably going to do that pick for this. So, you know, you can use that every for this. But, you might be seeing that like, song three. Just showcasing a little bit of the difference in the skill sets between the two players as well. Yeah. I'm going into Yoi Dore Shirazu. I will say I'm not very familiar with this chart, but you know, if you look at 2D Cavs over here, he's got City with a nice 41 PSC. No big deal. That's fine. Yeah. It's normal. Normal stuff. It's definitely something. So I think I'm pretty. It's probably safe to say that this is. Probably, but I mean, with the 993, could, I mean, I need to get out. I need to get out. So it's gonna come down to like, will 2 Cat be able to actually put on a showing for like his personal best shows? Can he, can he keep up that, you know, Show that perfect, can that he make it that it showed from song one? Gallop freezes? Yeah. Is there a term for that? Uh, as far as I know, I don't <laughs> think so, but, uh, you know, it's got some rhythm. Rhythms are, it's a skill set of their own. You know, some people are very good at picking up, like, 
that got me too cut off guard by like, you know, different colored nodes, different quantizations. Yeah, I call them the green boys and I hate them. I agree, yeah. And I like the green boys. Cap does have the PSC going on. Has you know, the PSC going on. the green boys. <laughs> Apparently he does. Yeah. He's got the 4 EX lead right now. That's super tight. Wow. It's literally anyway. Yeah, there's a man on those galaxies looking nice. Yeah. Both of them pretty comfortable with the star. Yeah, I don't think it's even even though, like, you know, Luminar is slightly behind, it, it, you know, it does not matter. So close. Pretty is really good on these gallops, you know, and they all of them. Not even get a single person. one there, but, you know, that gap is getting wider and wider. Really likes his green, green boys. boys. I'm yeah. telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah, he really likes them. The gap is getting wider. It's like already at almost 30 EX. At this point, I'm not sure if we're going to make up that difference. So I think we might be looking at a song three. Yeah. And Tootie Cap PFC's season. That is insane. That is pretty good. good In tournament, the only yeah. nine away from his personal best. Yeah. Wasn't even what a great sweat. showing. Yeah. Wasn't even sweating any, yeah. anything. That was no big deal. Well, curious to see what the tiebreaker is going to be, though. Anybody who can PFC a song with Gallup, so I'm like, hats off. Oh, like, yeah. In my mind, I, I hate those things. Yeah, you have to find the way, though. Yes, you got to make sure that, like, you can read the arrows properly. In my mind, it's just too easy to pick up grades on all those oh, yeah. types of songs. Like, yeah. The internals are very interesting where like everything quantized past a certain quantization, I think it's like I think it's anything past sixteenth is all green. So yep. so sometimes well. like you might not even know what the actual quantization unless you played the song often enough. Clearly Tuny Cast has played it quite a bit. Yeah. You know, PFC before, PC to in tournament, not having not struggling at all. But yeah, I'm very interested to see, you know, what the last song will be. So they the both both of those were 13, right? So and it does seem like 2D Cap was having the upper hand on the MA back. Yes. So I don't know. Do you think it'd be better for them for the squad to be a 12 or a 14? Like a 12 means like you know, it's gonna be closer. But, you know, maybe that could swing in Luberna's favor because that means, you know, less fewer errors to make sense. I'm, I'm ready for some higher level play. I mean, that's just, level? I'm just ready, ready for some higher level play. Oh, clearly he can serve it, so. Oh, it actually looks like we're moving on to the top of the top of the top of the I'm a little unsure what happened Whoa. there. I thought that was 1-1, one, one. was it not? Oh, never mind. I think we got it wrong. It was actually 2 0. I think I might have left the numbers wrong. You know, I'm tired. I just got off my. Literally, this dude who showed up in the tournament and popped on commentary. He didn't like, even have time to scream. I didn't get my bad. Alright. So, looks like 2D Cap did win that last one. And now we're moving up to 2D Cap to the time and first time lady. Neither one of them are getting a warm-up because they just played. And I know for a fact that this is the time they did. Yes. This song came out in Supernova. Uh, also notorious for having being very drifty. Is it early? I You're believe it. I believe it is early and just gets early and earlier as the song goes on. I believe I heard Kind Lady mention earlier that they've been practicing this yeah. as a kid. Right on the three minute, he kept the whole up by so close. But does this play me pick? So, we got a lot of song to go. Yeah, fine. How are they, they going to go to Jax right here? Judy 
that from the good, but maybe he gets to break through it. I feel like this song is around the speed where Drax kind of starts to get difficult. Yeah. Crazy Alien crossovers right here, and both players often just don't stop it. And most people probably will do it. But both players holding a super strong combo. Alright, the end part of the song with a little run, short run. The Tootie Caps, wow. Up by almost 30. That'll be enough to cover. Tootie Caps doesn't need to wow. but both of them with full combos. And Kai and Lady with a good, good full combo. 5 and 1 and 11. Yeah. Super strong show. They have got to be tired. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of all the stuff they've been playing today, I'm like, ooh. Sounds like 2D Cap feels very confident in his MA abilities. Um, usually when you start picking lower level stuff, you usually expect to like have people having very strong confidence that they can out MA their opponent. Just trying to like not you know, not trying to keep things up to chance. That being said, both players start off with a couple perfect. Neck and neck still. Yeah. And the song just started. Uh, you know, I believe this song is probably not very complicated. So it's gonna be, again, whoever can hold on to the MA lead. This is a cute little 12. Yeah. I mean, right now it's literally tied. So, no idea which way it's going to go. Jazzy's actually taking the lead here. You can do it. Yes. That's a bottle. Syncopated jump. Mess with my emotions is a bop. Sleeper bop. It is a jump. I had no idea. I mean, some people have to start digging into the, the, the 12. There's a lot that's pretty good. Jack is still holding on to that lead. With a PFC. So the rhythm's getting a little more complex. Oh, it's tied up. A TV cap does take the lead. Up by four. Oh, wow. Oh, no, that was right at the end. Wow. Wow. Fine lady. 36. 2D caps with 2 and 29. Yeah. I guess the, I mean, the patterns are picking up near the end of it. So, yeah. you know, it's starting to get a little tricky, and I guess Kai Lady was a little bit of a hold together. But 2D caps, super strong wow. showing. But even then, like, PSC that, like, yeah. PSC in tournaments, always, always a great feeling. The next match is this Mr. Guy against Lubada. Some of these picks also pretty good. I'll uh, wait until they start, but we are starting off with another 15. Which I believe is Mr. Guy's pick. Uh, I'm unsure if they get a warm-up by. I'm assuming they don't, considering they both have three to the page. They're probably gonna go straight into it. I think we are I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we are actually still a little bit behind probably in the main tournament, so we may just be trying to scoot it and scoot. That is true. Oh, okay. So the, this is the other song we could draw, so I guess we're starting with freeway shuffle. The 12. DJ Taco. You love a DJ Taco song. This song is shortly 
pretty unsafe. I know it's actually quite a few people's like first ever seen on the Meteor Extreme. So uh, we're gonna I don't know whose pick this is, but you know, it looks like Mr. Guy seems to have this PSC. This was on extreme. No. Oh super no. I'm like sorry. Look, I don't know much about this game. But I'm an old head and I know extreme. I did start with extreme, but I was okay. Either way, yeah, I'm like, extreme I'm like, to the it's pretty old, but like, pretty straightforward. Twelve though, too, if I recall correctly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Lumina did start off with a great, but you know it doesn't matter. He he's already given it up. Crazy that some of these matches are as close as they are, and it's Friday. Like it's it's oh it's yeah, Friday. it's Friday. Yeah. It's really started. I mean, the matches are only gonna get like people are starting harder and harder, and, harder and, harder and, stuff. and it's like the perfect counter just to get smaller and smaller.
You know, I don't, th I don't think there might not even be enough to make him oh like that. Oh my gosh, and he's holding on to that mark. So, so, yeah. So, so. A couple green blades. Wow, 35 EX. I think that might have been even one trade. Four crates. Wow. Wow, that's actually ridiculously good. Happy Four enough to grab a pick of it. You already know. True. Somebody's grabbing their phone after they're done playing, you know, it's like, all right. That's that's when you know that they're proud. Yeah, right. They, they know. Is it worth the photo? Exactly. I mean, yeah. they know that they put in the effort, they learn the chart, and, you know, they perform when, when, when it came time. This song is very good. It's actually, this song, I think the 50 was, is a, a lot of people used to play as warm up. Just, it's like the chart is so much fun. Uh, you know, get your legs moving. Yeah, I play 15 to warm ups uh, all the time. So this time, I'm pretty confident that it was 1 1. <laughs> so we are going to be going to a song 3. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm happy to be in the fight. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's nice to just you know, have a front you know front row viewing of the matches. It is actually really nice. It's like I'm right now. Yeah. Oh man, homie, these Ooh! Chaos Terror Tech the 12. Terror Tech. I know the 17 actually has completely different stops than the 15, but I'm pretty sure that the 15 is called the same. Thanks for that. Uh, but, but, both players have played it. Lumina, at least once. Lumina has a 904 on Steam. So, you know, they might be happy that this might be their, their tiebreaker. Both are holding up to their PSG. Nice, both are nailing their stuff. Put, try to make this event work. Right? We got the TOs, 
uh, you know, making sure they get the venue, they get on and running. But we also have other sponsors. Uh, Mistake on the Lake actually has a couple of sponsors this year. We got Kong Kong by Emu, who you make tons of merch. Like, I've seen... Stickers you know, on the EMU's cards. Pretty sticker sure I got the, the DDR stream sticker on my EMU's. I used to have a card holder. Mm -hmm. It's like lanyard, like, like all kinds yeah. of like random music game, not just dance games, but rhythm game merch as well. It's yeah. awesome. Wait, you see one of those DDR shirts? Yeah. <laughs> yep. On top of that, we had Black Flag Academy actually sponsoring the earlier pools the of the event. first pool today, I believe, yes. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Great community. If you're looking to like just get into the community, trying to find players like you know at your skill level, Black Flag Event Academy is a great place to start. Great place to meet new people as well. And I know a lot of people that were in the first school today you know, had never entered tournaments before, don't have a lot of experience. So I just think that's that much more important to sponsor that pool and just really support new players that are just getting into the scene. Yeah. And then we have the big conference as well, who I believe also makes merch. And finally, round one. I love round one. Shout out round one. Shout Thank you so one. much for being a gracious host and amazing so venue for us to yeah. have this event at. This event wouldn't have had this, of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, so many people coming out for here, and obviously round one ready to do the venue. Yes, he's being super so. supportive. All right, getting into it, we have London version B. Again, Lumina has 998, which I think that's a one great score. So this is this has gotta be Lumina's pick. But you know, saying that, Lumina does start off with a great. Well, yeah. With you know, kind lady only on PFC. So maybe all put out. Maybe they tear it up. <laughs> I had definitely had issues being the evolved version of A, B, C, charts different in my mind. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the pros are for the industry, mentally, but. Look at all that bleak. I like, don't pick up a miss, but I think you're gonna go with Mario as well. Yeah, love it. Got me a little wider now. Got me a little wider. But clearly, they both of them know. Nobody's being totally caught off guard. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're taking a couple of bitches. They're taking a couple of They both know to stop. And... Kylie does get the great mosquito. You're the one they came to see. Combo after combo. Look at all those combos. Look at that combo. Super strong. It's really crazy, yeah. You know, besides those days in the beginning and the whip, like, he has everything. Nails and stop, too. I think he picks up this is good. I think this is definitely moving up. Moving up. Okay. And moving up. Maybe under one more grade, but it's otherwise been very clean. Yeah, super strong. Wow. Not struggling at all. All things considered, though, the EX score, 71, perfect, is it nice? Yeah. It's pretty close. So it's like, you never know. If, you know, if the MA is that tight, it's, you know, it, it can just shoot down to dog. I should get a little bit uncomfortable with using this pad. Both these players are currently one and one in your pool. If they, uh, if you feel the top, you make it out, top one. Just top one. So, currently two captains, so they're sitting, on, sitting high, but if they, if two captains does end up losing their next match, you know, it's gonna come down to tiebreakers and it'll be the tiebreaker. Uh, I would love to see some hype tiebreakers. Oh, of course. Love that. Yeah. Then we got Kaimei's pick, which is Superstar. Superstar. And Lumina, no slouch. She's got a nine perfect SDD on this. This is gonna be an MA battle for her team. 
just put so much pain there. Just, I would be really surprised if that was the case, but I have no could idea. Could be. Could be. Could be. Well, it's you to be. You tell us, chat. <laughs> Dual yeah, someone, someone let me know. I don't know dual PFC yet. Yeah. So maybe, maybe perhaps uh, that's the thing. We're running like so many portions of this tournament concurrently that even if we haven't seen a dual PFC on this side, maybe something we can pull one off yeah. we talk and, you know. Yeah, the round one has so three. Concurrently running, we got, you know, we're, over here we have Ohio DDR, which is where you at. And then we got the other white cab over at the Madeline. And it's, uh, yep, the stuff DDR, and it's R-A-N-A-L-U-S. Oh, man. Oh, stop. And then the gold cab, I believe the Kilo in this tournament was earlier today. Yep. Uh, Twitch. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're in, it's going straight to the next match. Step machine. This is the last match of the pool. And this was also a fight call. I'm just seeing a little bit of a trend here. You didn't see the song played earlier. This chart is the notorious for having super weird rhythm that like, you know, I guess kind of go to the song. You have to be a step machine, really. Step yeah. into the play and get the MFC. They were holding strong, but this guy does pick up his grade. Who's the real step machine? We'll find out. The winner, we'll of, this, find out. winner of the song will pick you up. To the, uh, up by almost 13. Definitely familiar with this chart. Holy strong this with is not a chart you would want to try reading in a tournament. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Not one. Oh, to pick to up blind. the grades? Now, how are they going to do on the... It's going to get syncopated. It's going to start getting crossovers. 12-12 crossovers. Actually, now look at it. The gap got way tighter. It's only like... Like one. Wait, it's oh. one? Yeah, two? <laughs> it keeps, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. All right, here comes the 12. Oh, the crosshair is going to go up. Oh, uh, Tootie Cat picks up a break. Oh, I, oh, I, I think this guy's taking the lead. That it's, tied. Look. it's tied. Oh it's tied. It's tied. Who's going to win? Who's going to take? Oh. It's, oh it's, it's tied. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Yo. Oh! Tootie oh! Cat takes it! Sorry, I don't want to yell on the mic. Oh my god. Right. That was I'm, I'm hoping there's some compression on the mic so we're not yelling at the screen, but... We're getting too hyped. Oh but my god. But Tootie Cat takes it right, right at, at the, the end. end. Oh, man. Oh. It was These are the kind right of matches there. we're coming for. It These are the right kind there. of matches that we are here for right now. Like, wow. Wow, that was... That was so tight. That just goes to show you really gotta like play your best throughout the entirety of the song. Like yeah, maybe you got a great group, like whatever, like you don't know how your dad's doing. Just do it. We'll find out at the end how it shook out. Both are steps up to that plate. That's crazy. At the very end. Yeah, that was that was that was crazy. 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 And we're just moving straight on to the next song, Healing Vision Angelic Mix. Yeah, actually. Love it. Select level. Okay, okay, I was at 999, and then 997. Wow. I mean, clearly 2D counts. Wow. I mean, he is currently 2-0 in his pool. He's relaxed. He's chilling. Let's start off with a little bit of great, but you know, it's only one worse than a perfect. You can make it like that anyway. It's such a pretty big staple. I'm sure most of us will be able to know about the stop. They know about the, the two-barrel jacket. I feel like I'm always double-stepping like crazy on this 
part, I oh, don't yeah. know. I feel like I don't necessarily play it very efficiently, so even if you are familiar with it, I don't know, this is just something to do with. Oh, absolutely. It's not necessarily true. I mean, if you try to play it the way the chart right. tells you to play it, right. you're probably exactly. doing some spins. Exactly. Yeah. So, most people opt to not play it like that in Oh, you don't, you don't do spins as long as you're good to do like mix? No. So, not unless you're a sure? freestyler. But either way, Judy Cap's only under the PFC. Freestyle plug, we'll have that tomorrow night. We will. Probably not feeling good to be feeling mixed though. Probably not. Hey, I could be surprised. And like I said, both of them know that stop, you know, having no issues going to the final and even though it's screen. Both of them holding me strong with their full combos. So this guy's guy's NA is holding up. You might, you might just, get, real clean you might just get the PFC right here. And he does uh, indeed. You know, even though it, it looked like he kept one running away with it, yeah. he ended it up with only 11 PFC yeah. difference. It's really tight. Wow. And it only came down to a matter of, you know, this guy picking up a couple of plays. Like, even their PF perfect time is super Yeah, that's dead. really crazy. Yeah. And I think with that, you know, cap uh, wins his pool 3-0. He's, he's the step machine. He he definitely Cur showed up. Currently, there. yeah, that was that was a great match. We got the, the dual PFC. That was really nice. We got the dual PFC with uh, Zafi and Lubinov.